Hello everyone and welcome to today's video where we are going to talk about how to construct the perfect poultry house. So we are going to talk about the fundamental principles you need to follow when building a poultry house. Here are the topics we are going to discuss. First and foremost, we'll discuss the types of poultry houses. Then we'll talk about how to construct the floor of your poultry house or how to modify the existing floor you have to suit a poultry house. We'll talk about bedding. What is the perfect bedding to use for your poultry house? Then we'll talk about how to construct walls for your poultry house. We will also talk about how to construct the perfect roof for your poultry house. We'll talk about lighting in a poultry house space requirements for your layers and broilers and last but not least we'll talk about constructing patching stands let's get started types of poultry houses i generally categorize poultry houses into two first are houses with raised floors and houses whose floors are on the surface like the one you can see on the on the diagram houses with raised floors have floors that are constructed using mesh preferably plastic mesh that allows the poultry waste to or the droppings to drop out so that the house remains clean for houses with floors on the ground the floors should preferably be made with concrete as it makes it easier to clean. Let's talk about how to construct floors for your poultry house. As I've already mentioned, if the floor of the chicken house is to be raised, it should be preferably made with plastic mesh. Okay? But you may also use wooden planks. Use plastic mesh whose aperture size is 20.40 millimeters by 20.40 millimeters. Those are available readily in the market. Use mesh. Using mesh is better than wooden planks as it ensures that the poultry house is clean all the time or the floor is clean all the time to prevent diseases caused by poor hygiene such as infectious coriza. For houses whose floor is not raised, the floor should be made of concrete as it is easier to clean. To prevent chicken from coming into contact with the concrete floor, you should have a bedding which can be made of materials such as sawdust and straw. Okay? But preferably sawdust, then you can turn it regularly. This is if you are using the rearing system such as deep litter. But if you are using cages, you won't need the, the sawdust. Bedding materials only are only needed if you intend to practice deep litter, as I have already mentioned. Okay. Now let's talk about how to construct walls for your poultry house. In most areas, the most suitable wall is one that is made up of concrete or iron that is constructed from the floor up to around 20 to 40 centimeters with the rest of the wall being made up of wire mesh that can either be plastic or made of metal. This is the perfect wall for layer chicken after eight weeks and broilers that are more than four weeks old. Weeks old are considered chicks and should be housed in a brooder where the walls are made up completely of concrete to allow you to regulate the temperature. Okay, you may also need, you may also use timber in case concrete is not available or any other material that is readily available, bamboo and so, so forth. Okay, 
but concrete is better as it allows you to better regulate the temperature. Now let's talk about how to construct the perfect roof for your poultry house. Preferably, the roof of your poultry house will be slanted. Okay, the headroom distance from the floor to the roof will be preferably around 3 meters, but you could reduce it up to 2.7 meters to cut down costs, but it should not be less than 2.7. Okay, maybe you can reduce it to around 2.7. But not less than that. Now let's talk about lighting in a poultry house. Construct your poultry house in such a way that natural light is allowed in during the day. In addition to that, you need to supplement with artificial lighting during the night. Broilers need up to 20 hours of light every day for fast growth. While layers need up to 16 hours, so you'll need to supplement natural light with artificial light. Now let's talk about space requirements for layers and broilers. For broilers, you'll need to house them as follows. Seven broilers per meter square. For layers, you'll need more space, preferably around five broilers or so per meter square. Or three bags per meter square, but five can do if the space is limited. Okay, now let's talk about constructing patching stands. Chicken have or poultry have a natural tendency to patch rather than be on the floor, they like to jump on things. That's why you need to construct patching stands within your poultry house especially if you're using the deep litter method that's all for today hopefully these tips can help you even in a small way in creating the perfect chicken house if you have any question feel free to drop it in the comment section see you in the next video where we'll talk about why most poultry ventures fail thank you